everyone, it's Christelle from YouTube, Vintage Christelle, and from Etsy, it's Christelle at yourpaperpantry.ning.com, it's Christelle, and Your Paper Pantry is a networking, social networking group for crafters and altered artists and people who aren't even artists or crafters at all, but just want to get to learn how to do that kind of a thing. You can chat and you get inspired and you can show each other your projects beginning to expert and um, it's a really fun group to join. They have several several swaps per month and um, this month I happen to be making um, some altered boxes, uh, balsa wood boxes that are for um, your stick pins they use in uh, scrapbooking. So it's very fun. Come and join us. Anyway, so I promised that I was going to show this retro recipe book. I had made one like it and given it to Johnny from Your Paper Pantry for her birthday once and she did have a video up but I don't think it's there any longer so I, I just had to go by uh, memory sort of. Although I used, like I said, inspired by your paper pantry used the things I had and although I still have a bunch because um, you know things just multiply after you think you you've um, used it up there's there's still more so we're glad for that anyway this um, the papers that I used are Heidi Grace papers and um, I just got those at I think Big Lots and the the ribbons that I used were from uh, local and scrapbook stores that I had gone to on vacation there are some that were from Simply Scrapbooks in uh, California some of my I used some of my vintage um, rick rack and little mini rick rack some kitchen themed Twill tape from my local scrapbook stores, and Mary Inglebright from Michaels, and some black and white that look like a retro tile floor in a kitchen. And love this crinkly, stretchy one. I also added some, can't see them here, swirly beads that I happen to have that look pretty cool with this, and a spoon from my friend Elizabeth, although um, I'm going to put, I just wanted to show you how it looks, the measuring spoon on there, like I do, but I'm going to put a, um, just a vintage plain one, I'll probably say vintage a lot in this video. Um, anyway, that's from Elizabeth, my friend who's from, she has a shop at Etsy called Grandmother's Attic, and that is also where I got this, um, milk bottle cap and she sells things like that lots of lots and lots of supplies for artists and crafters and one of the things she does have is soda bottle caps for um, uh, jewelry artists so anyway from Fiskars I used throughout this some um, phrase uh, stickers that were clear and um, that one says you and me. The flowers I put together from Prima Flowers, flowers I had gotten from the Recollections Collect, uh, um, Little Sales bags at um, Michael's. Uh, behind this all I had cut out a piece of a recipe with a scalloped punch from I think Martha Stewart. Um, put some vintage buttons in those and a brad in the middle of this one. This is Im one of the images I used and I was calling this Pops in the Kitchen because it, there's a couple of guy uh, images in this one and we don't get enough guy minis although my and well, this has flowers and stuff but my husband said he didn't mind. <laughs> he, likes, uh, he likes flowers and he likes cooking. So Anyway, uh, this, these images were from the company uh, Crafty Secrets, 
or well, that's it has both the name heartwarming and crafty secrets on the um, top of the pages, and then they have um, sayings on them. This one says, "Real men wear aprons and complaints to the cook can be hazardous to your health," which is true <laughs> in our case. So I made the goon ball mistake that I make lots of times when I'm just trying to hurry and be creative and put the first image on this on the inside page upside down. And I've done that before and I don't know why I don't check. So I thought, well, how am I gonna make, you know, the lemons sour lemons into lemonade? So I decided that I was gonna put a recipe for pineapple upside down cake and then so I'll sh try and show you the uh, right side up so I got one of my vintage uh, retro pamphlets for recipes and copied that onto paper that's another one of those heartwarming stickers an old button I had recollections embellishment Heidi Grace paper punched into a circle, and these are some of my real uh, retro um, carnival tickets that I sell at Etsy. So that's a Heidi Grace paper in the background too. Here I used a recipe uh, card I had. I don't remember if I got them at Michael's says remember <laughs> but I don't and so we just punched a hole and uh, put a an eyelet there and I'm um, trying to talk fast so I won't take forever so the other side says love 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 and this one was the dad pop putting pushing uh, I don't think he was pushing mother out of the kitchen but he was pushing mother's mother out of the kitchen, the mother-in-law. And it says, I love a man with dishpan hands. And then I had some stickers, uh, some little lettering stickers, and they're a little bit puffy, and I do not know what the name of it is. I didn't, I no longer had the top of it. But these, some of these retro images, they came from a sheet from a digital collage sheet that was free from Flickr and it, uh, I had used this in my other other mini so I had some left and they were by what was her name? Her name was Mary Watkin and she has a Flickr site called Paper Scraps and it's one word. So I just back put the polka dots on the other dotty paper and oh and it says shine so the dishes are shiny <laughs> this one I took one of my vintage recipes that I had and I always thought it was kind of cute that I had that um, ginger ale lemonade on it I, I fancy cut the um, mom and dad and the kid put um, another of those recollections embellishments, uh, felt, and buttons, and um, it's all one piece chipboard. I put it on the background like a, you know, I liked that gingham. It looked like a picnic cloth. And so it says, love you to the kid. Of course, soup means I love you. <laughs> yeah, soup and pie mean I love you, let me tell you. So this one was Mom going to the market. I had that recipes deal, and I'll have to remember. I'll try and put the name of this sticker. I think I only used one or two in here, and it was a sticker sheet from the craft book store. It says the sticker on the bottom says on the go with her on the go with the cart at the grocery store when they still had paper bags. This flower is from, I think it's Petaloos. And there is a real vintage blue chip stamp that I had that I put on there. I put a little border up here, see? I don't want to make you dizzy, and I have a habit of doing that. Uh, I just put a cockeyed kind of a border there, and I had gotten these 
felts, there's a few felt um, embellishments that I had gotten in a swap, so I don't know where those are from. That's another Heidi Grace paper in the background. And this page has got um, another of those um, heartwarming stickers. I put some Heidi Grace stickers on here. And this is another heartwarming that's the spoons. I, put, I um, use glossy accents and stuck buttons to buttons and put them on there. And this is an envelope. So inside I have a little um, image that I had uh, embellishment of a kitchen knife and two of the um, my recipes that I had been given of old recipes and I once for banana pie with red writing and uh, I put them on copied them onto paper that is acid free and one is for apple pie. Gotta have that for the guys and the hubs. This is um, just a cute red and white. Um, duh! My head just went, duh! <laughs> it's afternoon and I need a snack. Paper clip. <laughs> hey, you want to look at something funny? Shoe fly. <laughs> I got that at the thrift store too. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> I'm a goofball. Uh, this one was another one of those images from uh, Mary Watkin, and the, I love those retro images, although I, it was rather pale, so I um, colored it in with colored pencils, and it, and it says, I feed that, that it to them once a week, and so what does she feed? Can joy. <laughs> but I just put that up there myself because I thought that was ironically funny. Anyway, here's, um, I put a little fake jewel there and another recollections thing. And I, off of one of my old recipe pamphlets, I took this carnation um, image and used, throughout this thing I used Tim Holtz tea dye um, uh, I think it's probably dinner time. Distress inks, tea dye. That's really my favorite color of his to use on anything retro. So a flower I made by sticking different flowers on top of each other. It says play here. This was for cherry o cream cheese pie. So I thought that sounded like pretty yummy <laughs> and put some Mary Inglebright um, little jewel embellishments of cherries and I had another um, recipe card and I just glued them to each other and then put the whole this is one of the um, retro uh, recipe not recipe um, canning jar labels that I had so I took it and um, copied on to acid free paper and sort of fancy cut it out and it says at play all day so the little girls playing with their doll in the kitchen with the mom I thought that was sweet and this is um, some mm, flat flowers I made out of a vintage recipe and gluing buttons to each other so here we're coming to the last page. Hope I'm not boring you and I have some I have something on start there. So the last was um, in the kitchen the cook's handbook. It was a little ad that was in one of my old pamphlets I had gotten from a thrift shop over at the beach. It says inspire. I put different cutout borders and uh a spoon sticker. There is a little stove that comes on those heartwarming um, sticker pages or um, some of them are stickers and some of them are not. They're, you'll have to glue them on yourself. 
But uh, I thought you would enjoy seeing that. I'm sorry I took so long. And actually, when I go on other people's video sites and they say, oh, I, I'm talking too long, I'm like, I'm just, that's all I want to see is your videos. I want to see them. <laughs> keep making them and don't turn them off. <laughs> so just keep filming. And I love to watch all your videos too. So come on over to your paper pantry join and um we'll see you there next video will probably be another thrift shop haul and then i will show you the boxes that i made that are altered or maybe in the opposite order thanks for watching god bless you guys have a great night bye